Hello, I am Sunita. Welcome to my class. Here I am going to discuss JPSTR science topics according to the syllabus. Here the topic is force. Let us start the class. What is force? The push or pull of an object with mass that cause it to change its velocity. Push, pushing or pulling of an object having a certain mass then it will change its velocity either it will increase the velocity otherwise it will slow down the velocity that one we will call it as a force let us discuss in detail what is meant by a force push or pull of an object is called as a force then here force it can start the motion here consider an example here kicking this boy he kicked the ball before the ball was at rest when he given the force then it start moving then next one already if the ball is moving using force you can stop the motion also next one you can change the direction of the ball by giving a force by applying a force in the certain direction then you can change the direction of the motion also then other example are opening throwing, lifting, pushing, pulling. These are the example. If you apply a force, then which are the changes it will happen here? We are discussed here. Force is an external agent capable of changing the state of rest or motion of a particular body. Force is nothing but an external agent. It can capable of changing the state of rest or motion of a particular body. If a body is at rest, then it can start the motion of the body. If the body is already is in motion, then it can stop the motion of the object also. Both also it will do. It has a magnitude and a direction. Already you know force is a vector quantity. Therefore, it has both magnitude and direction. The direction towards the which the force is applied is known as the direction of the force. At which direction force we will apply, that direction we will call it as a direction of the force. Then the application of force is that point where force is applied. Then application of force is nothing but where the point exactly the force is applied. Force can be measured using a spring balance. Then SA unit of force is Newton. N you have to remember. Then common symbol we will use capital F. SA unit of force is Newton. Then SI base unit is kg into meter per second square. Other units are time. We will normally we will use this one only. Then derived from other quantities, F is equal to ma. Here F means force, M means mass, A means acceleration, dimensions, length, mass, time to the power of minus 2. Next one, let us discuss the effect of force. In physics, motion is defined as the change in position with respect to time. If, if the object changes its position with respect to time, we will consider as a motion. But in the simple words, motion refers to the movement of a body. Typically, motion can either be described as change in speed, change in direction. Motion, it may include change in speed also, change in direction also. The next one, the force has different effect. Here are some of them. Some of them. First one, force can make a body that is at rest to move. First one, force, if you apply a certain amount of force, if the body is at rest, then it will make the body to move. The next one, it can stop a moving body or slow slow it down. If a, if a body is already, it is if it is moving, then if you apply a force, then the body, it will stop. Otherwise, it will slow down the motion of a body. Then third one, it can accelerate the speed of a moving body. If the body is moving slow, then if you apply a force, it may accelerate the speed of a moving body. Then last one, it can also change the direction of a moving body. It will change the direction of a moving body when you apply a force. Then next important one, then it will change its shape and also size also. When you apply a force, then the shape of a given object and size, it may change. Types of force. Force is a physical cause that can change the state of motion or dimension of an object. There are two types of force based on their application. One is contact force, another one is non-contact force. 
let us consider the first type contact force name itself indicate when the two object when they are in contact with each other it will exit exert a force that force we will call it as a contact force force that can act on your body either directly or through a medium are called contact force here consider the muscular force if this man if he want to lift the weight at a certain height then he has to apply a force on a weight then he has to use the muscular weight to lift the lift this weight at a particular height then the here you can observe the body of the man otherwise the muscles of the man and this weight they will be contact with each other then it will exert a force consider second example here if this boy if you want to pull your water from a well then he has to apply a force on a rope then this boy and rope they will be contact with each other then it will exert a force then easily he can pull the water from a well this also one of the example of a contact force consider next example the boy is standing on a trolley if you want to move a trolley then he has to come out from its frictional force then he has to apply a more strong force on the trolley then here the boy and trolley they will be contact with each other it will exit a contact force then when this boy apply a force on the trolley then the trolley it overcome the frictional force then it will start moving this is also one of the best example for a contact force therefore in general contact force is nothing but when the two object when they will be contact with each other then it will exert a force on the other object it will make the object to do some work that force we will call it as a contact force examples of contact forces are muscular force mechanical force friction force we can make use of the muscular force of animals like bullocks horse camels to get the activities done we will use the muscular force of animals like bullocks horse camels to do some of the few activities then frictional force is another type of a contact force frictional force is a one of the contact force which acts between a pair of surface when in contact when two surface when they are in contact with each other then it will exist a frictional force and tend to oppose the motion of one surface over the other if the object when it is in motion then frictional force is the opposing force it will act on the another object it will oppose the motion of the object to overcome the frictional force normally we have to apply some force then then you can come out from the frictional force next one non contact force the name itself indicate when two object when they are not in contact it will exist a force that force we will call it as a non contact force force that act through space without making direct contact with the body are called non contact force for example gravitational force you know earth is an best example for an gravitational force because of its gravitational force earth it will attract every object towards itself here also this man is attracted by the earth because of the gravitational force second one is electrostatic force consider a comb rub the comb with hair then comb it will get some charge like positive charge then you are having a pins when you bring the comb near to the pins then the, that pins it is attracted by the comb then it will indicate there will be a force exist between the pins and the comb that force we will call it as a electrostatic force then third one magnetic force consider a magnet then bring a iron nail near to the magnet then the iron nail attracted by the magnet because of its magnetic force these are the three best example of a non contact force because here the objects they will be not direct in contact with each other but they are experiencing a force like a gravitational force electrostatic force and magnetic force example of non contact forces are gravitational force electrostatic force magnetic forces the force exerted by a magnet on the other magnet is called as a magnetic force magnetic force is nothing but a the force exerted by a magnet either another magnet or any other 
magnetic material magnetic force and electrostatic force act act on an object from a distance that's the reason they are non contact forces in the case of a magnetic force and electrostatic force the force exists between the contact that object not necessary they will be in contact with each other they will be far from each other then they will experience a force that force we will called as a non contact force the strength of gravity is an attractive force that is exerted by the earth on the object you know the earth is having gravitational force because that gravitational force the earth it will attract all the objects objects present on the earth which makes them fall to the land some object they will be falling towards the earth the weight of a body is the force that is pulled by the earth towards the center if the object is attracted by the earth then the weight of a weight of that body or object is the force that is pulled by the earth towards the center how much force how much force the earth it will be pulled by pulled towards it that that we will call it as a that is nothing but a weight of a body these are the few example of non contact forces let us solve some of the few problems based on force first question how much net force is required to accelerate a 1000 kg car at 4 meter per second square here there you have to calculate a force they are given acceleration 4 meter per second square then mass mass of the body is 1000 kg mass of a car is 1000 kg therefore you know the formula f is equal to ma substitute the value of m here m is 1000 kg 1000 into acceleration is 4 meter per square 1000 into 4 you will get 1000 into 4 you will get 4000 newton newton is the si unit for force therefore 4000 n is the correct answer Let us consider next question. Raghu has a toy car of mass 2 kg. How much force should be applied on the car so that it should travel with the acceleration of 8 meter per second square? Solution here they are given mass of a toy car 2 kg, acceleration 8 meter per second square. Then you know the formula of force if it will be equal to m into a substitute the value of mass here mass is 2 kg and acceleration is 8 meter per second square a 2 is 16 then kg into meter divided by second square then you can write in this way also 16 newton because newton is the si unit of force Question number three: A hammer having a mass of one kg, going with a speed of six meter per second, hits a wall and come to rest in point one second. Compute the obstacle force that makes the hammer to stop. Here, the hammer is having a mass. Mass of the hammer m it will be one kg. Then initially it is moving with a velocity u, it will be six meter per second. Then after hitting a wall, then the velocity of the hammer it will be come to rest. Final velocity v it will be zero meter per second. Then it will come to rest after the time point one second. Therefore time is point one second. If you want to calculate acceleration, you have to use this formula. If you know final velocity and initial velocity and time, therefore acceleration it will be equal to v minus u divided by t. V means final velocity, u means initial velocity divided by t. If you substitute the value, then you will get the answer. Acceleration it will be minus 60. Here negative sign indicate retardation. That one you have to remember. Acceleration having negative sign, that one we will call it as a retardation. Then you have to calculate the force. Force it will be equal to m into a. Then one into sixty. It it is nothing but sixty newton. That much force, the obstacle force, the obstacle force that makes the hammer to stop. Thanks for listening my class. Send me your valuable feedback.